Okay, so here's the first setup. We're starting at about oh, uh, 75 degrees of in the water. It's, uh, it's 15 gallons of water. And uh, this originally started, well, I threw in a 20 pound bag of ice. And then I added two and a half gallons of water. Started temperature right there, I think it was a little under like the 36 degrees um, uh, for the starting temp right there. And at the tone we have 11.33 on Saturday. Uh, so we're going to start this pump and see what happens and see if we, uh, how fast the water will cool and if it will stay cool. Um, and that will be the first test of... Uh, trying to see if we can keep the water cool. The reason I'm doing this is I want to keep crabs alive, Dungeness crabs alive longer. Um, I can filter the water, I can get them air, but right now I can't get them uh, and the water down. It's about 80 degrees outside right now, um, but the water temperature rises and I think that might be part of the problem. So anyway, so if anybody's watching, uh, this is it. I will post my results. Uh, as I go, try to make a whole video of it, but this is kind of where, where we go, the starting point goes. Alrighty, here we go. Alright, the pump is on and the water is now circulating. Um, and let me just put my hand here, we'll feel it right here real quick. The water is a little colder, but not major right now, but I can start to feel it getting a little bit colder. So, but the ultimate test, we'll see if our therm thermometer starts uh, going smaller or lowering the temperature. So we'll see how it goes. Right now it's pumping through like it's supposed to. I have 20 pounds or 20 feet of hose in here. So I don't know if I need more. I'm gonna start with 20 right now. And if I need to go to another 20 uh, foot hose to make sure that, that the water circling in there is in there longer, I will do that. But again, test run number one. And we will see what happens out of curiosity. Curious to see if it's cold. Nope, hasn't got really any colder than it was. So we'll see what happens. And for now, we will close the lid and let it rip. So here we go. Four hours later, no, five hours later, um, we got it down to, or it's hold steady. It's kind of hard to tell by that thermometer, but it's actually at 58, 59 degrees. Um, like this one's sitting right around 60. Stop so um got this in here, water going, ice. Um I had to add more ice. So I'm thinking if I put in another 12 uh, 20 foot hose, that'd be longer circulation in the ice water and I might be able to get it colder. Um, that would be a test, something I'll have to do. This also wasn't sealed completely because um, I was just doing a test run, so it's kind of been open like that because I didn't want to cut through this uh, cooler yet. But if everything proves to be good, like I think it is, I may do it correctly now and drill holes through there, running the hoses through and then out like they're supposed to, so that way I can shut this thing completely um, and uh, go from there. I think one thing too is that uh, I ice the water down. Might be better not to ice it. Just start out with blocks of or uh, crushed ice right into it. Let it melt into there. I don't know if that'll keep it colder or not. That'll be a test uh, for another day, uh, another time. But I know this much. It's working right now. Um, so we'll we'll do one more prototype, one more test, and we'll see how it goes. And hopefully in the future I have some crabs in there and see how it runs. All right. Yeah, honey. Here we go. That's it.